African-American babies are at higher risk than any other race to die before the age of one in Maricopa County. Cronkite News reporter Alyssa Munoz tells us why and how a local organization is helping families to prevent more deaths. Just felt lost and depressed. Donye Stokes is a mother of a 16-year-old. Back during her pregnancy, Stokes fell ill most of the time. So bad that I was in and out of the hospital like every week. Stokes recalls feeling dehydrated and losing almost 80 pounds during her pregnancy. Her first doctor told her it was just morning sickness. I felt like I was kind of just a number because they kept sending me home. A second doctor diagnosed her with hyperthyroidism, a condition that can cause irregular heartbeat and weight loss. This is just one of many things pregnant women have to worry about. According to Maricopa County data, African-American babies are 2.5 times more likely than non-Hispanic white babies to die before the age of one. Healthy Start, an organization in South Phoenix, is dedicated to helping families during and after pregnancy to prevent this number from increasing. We see a lot of people who don't believe that the infant mortality rate, the maternal mortality rate, is as bad as it is. This poses somewhat of a concern for those of color. In a recent press release by the White House, it states, black women in America are three times more likely to die from pregnancy-related complications than white women. Beatty agrees she believes there are things that cause these health disparities. There are a number of things that lead into it, um, structuralized, um, and systemized um, racism is, you know, certainly one of those. In the same report by the White House, studies show black women are often dismissed or ignored at hospitals or other health care places. They say systemic inequities are to blame. African-American moms are uh, specifically put in a higher category of a risk, and so a lot of doctors will not perform um, vaginal birth after cesarean, specifically within African-American communities. And race should not be one of the risk factors. Race is not a risk factor. Healthy Start provides free services and referrals to local resources such as women and infant health education, childbirth assistance, and safe sleep counseling. These are things Donye wished she had. She hopes mothers who are in similar situations to know that they have choices. But the main thing is, is to really ask questions, write things down. You can be, you know, um, just focus more on, on, the health, on your health care and what your needs are. In Phoenix, Alyssa Munoz, Cronkite News.